Brake fluids come with different flavors. You have your dot 3 which is one of the oldest one and then you have most commonly used dot 4 then you have dot 5 and dot 5.1. What's the difference and which one should you consider using? Let's see in this video. Before getting into understanding brake fluids, let's understand how does the brake fluid work. For this example, let's take a look at regular master cylinder of your bike. You have your piston and its springs. Now let's assume that the master cylinder is filled with fluid and the system is properly bled. I have made a separate video on how to bleed your brakes, find the link in the i button above. Now once you press the lever, usually any fluid moves as shown. But when you look at its molecular level, you can see the fluid moves initially, then as soon as it hits the piston, it compresses and then on its maximum compression, it starts moving the piston. However, in comparison with the brake fluid, as it is a non-compressible one, it directly pushes the piston. This is very important as you don't want any lag or squishy feeling without any feedback when you apply your brakes. And being a non-compressible fluid, your brake fluid does the job of effectively transferring the brake force from your lever to the calipers. But this is not the only job that the brake fluid does. Brake fluid in order to be compatible with all the ABS modules, it has to be less viscous or less thick in simple terms. But being too lean is also not a good thing as your brake fluid must also lubricate all the oil seals inside your master cylinder and the calipers. Apart from this, your brake fluid must have high boiling point in order to avoid any vaporizing of your brake fluid under heavy pressure when you apply brakes. With all these, your brake fluid must also be corrosion resistant. In order to prevent your master cylinder and the brake lines and the entire braking system to function smoothly even for a longer time. With all these properties in mind, different brake fluids handle these all situations in different types. We have four different types of brake fluids out of which dot 3, dot 4 and dot 5.1 are based of glycol. And these three can be mixed together. Now you must be wondering what about dot 5? So the dot 5 is completely silicon based and this is a separate type of brake fluid which cannot be mixed with any of the other brake fluids. Now let's quickly understand what is glycol based brake fluids and how it is different from a silicon based brake fluid. So the glycol based brake fluids are basically hydrophilic in nature. That means it has a tendency to attract more moisture from the environment. When it comes to the silicon type brake fluid, it is hydrophobic in nature which means it will prevent or repel water to the environment. Due to this factor, it doesn't attract water and your brake fluid will remain fresh for a longer time and it has very less maintenance and a longer service life. Along with these, you might have also heard that your brake fluid will damage your paint parts. And this is true in terms of glycol based brake fluids, but when it comes to a silicon based, it is totally harmless for your paints. Now all might be thinking DOT5 is the best brake fluid to go, but there is a catch. The cost for buying the DOT5 brake fluid and considering its viscosity and its compressibility, it is very much unusable for all the bikes that is currently running in India. DOT5 brake fluids are created for military use as they prevent moisture from getting into the fluid so which it can be stored for a longer time. So now as one is eliminated, now you are left with three options to consider. DOT3, DOT4 and DOT5.1. And the difference between all these three comes down to the boiling point. The more the boiling point, the more heat withstanding capacity each brake fluid will have. DOT3 brake fluids are the oldest one and most of the manufacturers are already moved to DOT4. There are few manufacturers who still uses DOT3 just to cut down cost on the small CC bikes. While consider checking the boiling point, there are two metrics to consider. One when it's completely dry, that is there is no moisture at all and the other case is up to 3.7% water content in the brake fluid. The reason for keeping 3.7% as standard for water content in brake fluid is been kept for the reason that every brake fluid will absorb about 3.7% of water after a year of use. So now, DOT3 has the lowest boiling point around 400 degrees dry and 280 degrees when it's in wet condition. And DOT5.1 has highest boiling point of around 520 degrees in the dry condition and around 360 degrees in the wet condition. Now you people might be wondering what are these racing fluids that they sell online. And these are nothing but 5.1 brake fluids which has even higher boiling point due to certain chemicals that is added to it. So now, as we spoke about dry and wet brake fluid conditions, any moisture in your brake is going to lower your boiling point 
and is going to ruin your brake feel. If you have moisture or water in your brake fluid, you'll be having a spongy or a squishy lever and you won't be having any feel and feedback from your braking system. This is the main reason where manufacturers suggest you to bleed the brakes every once in a year. And if you're running on DOT 3 brake fluids, do consider upgrading it to DOT 4 the next time when you're going to bleed your brakes. Alright, so I think I have covered most of the things about brake fluid and I hope this video was informative enough to learn something new about brake fluids. For more such content, do consider subscribing to Archaeonics.